All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Objective-C for Absolute Beginners. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Interface Builder's new feature in Xcode 4.2 in iOS 5 called Storyboarding. Um, it uh, has the potential, Storyboarding has the potential, one, to give you a graphical uh, look at your application. And especially if you have a lot of views in your application, you can kind of quickly see and navigate um, two different scenes. Scenes are called views in the storyboarding syntax and language. And you can quickly go to a scene and modify it and, and look at its code. Additionally, as you're making new views or scenes, you can quickly and um, um, from a um, user interface perspective, design your views. And then as you're transitioning from one view to the next, you can um, uh, customize or use some built-in transitions that greatly simplify or completely eliminate any code that you might have to write to do these transitions. Transitions in the storyboard lingo are called um, segues. Segues go from scene to scene. So look, let's look and see how this is all done. I'm gonna bring up kind of my cheat sheet here on how the different seg what the different segues do, and we'll look at them uh, in more detail in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project from scratch. And again, I'm using um, Xcode 4.2 or higher. And um, I'm doing this in line. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a single view application. And I'm going to hit next here. It's going to be iPad, and I'm going to make sure that I have storyboarding turned on. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to create my project, save it. And now when I open up my project, the first place I typically want to end up is on this new file called storyboarding. Okay, and it's going to be kind of the place that I'm going to start. Now, the, like I said, storyboarding has advantages and disadvantages. The one thing that you're going to need when you do your storyboard, here's our main storyboard dot storyboard. Sorry, I lost it there. That's what we're going to want. When you're working with storyboardings and multiple scenes, which you are, you're going to want the biggest, baddest monitor you can afford. It's just the way it is. I got, what is this? This isn't like a 20, 21 inch monitor. I don't know. If I had a 50 inch monitor, I don't know if it would be big enough, but um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get rid of these little views here, just so you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Here's my little icons here for zooming in and zooming out and I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here and I'm gonna maximize this window give myself as much real estate as I can and I'm gonna put this utility view over here now so here's my main view and let's just say to this main view I want to add a text um, some text uh, or I should say a label and maybe a button all right, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here to maybe give myself a little bit more room to work with. And there we go. I'm going to add my button. Okay, now you're going to have this happen to you too. You just kind of drag and you put it on there. It's like, hey, why can't I drop it? Well, this is where the monitor comes in. Even though you kind of got it the way you think it is and the way you work, you got to kind of click on it and select it. It expands it. And then we can go ahead and now drag our buttons and our labels over. All right, there's our button and our label. And let's just change the title here in this label to uh, first screen and yeah 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 let's make this guy a little bit bigger here so it shows up first screen 
and I'm going to call this button here make sure I got it selected there we go and I'm going to kind of move this guy back down and I'm going to change its title to um, press me for next screen okay and we'll make this button a little bit bigger and of course you can line this up as you want well let's go ahead and zoom out and when we press this screen we're going to go to our next view we're going to transition to our next view well for that um, again this is where storyboarding saves us um, some code we can go ahead and put um, let's see we can go ahead and put another view and you can kind of see ah, you know I can't put a view there why can't I put my view there what if I zoom out can I put a view there well we're gonna go from one view to the next not in the same view which means it's got to live in a view controller so let's go ahead and put our view controller out there and now we get the plus sign our view so it kind of helps us tell us what we need and I'm just gonna go ahead and put another uh, uh, label here and just to say this is our second uh, our second uh, got to select it again it just doesn't like to let you work in that got it uh, zoomed in and we're gonna call this our um, our second screen And hit OK and we'll make this a little bit bigger here so we can see it now how do we go from this screen to the next screen well that's where segues come in remember views are are associated with are called um, scenes and transitions are called segues I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom out and to make a segue we're gonna go from this button when this button event happens and we're going to go to our next view. So you want to do a control drag from one view to the next. And we're going to do this as a modal view, meaning that we're going to, when we do that, we have some options with our segue. If I click on the segue, I can bring up its properties and we can do some kind of cool transitions. We can do a page curl, a dissolve, or a flip with really no coding. So let's go ahead and run this and um, see what we got. Now, behind the scenes, you can customize and you're going to have to do a lot of other coding going on here. But to get going, you can see if you're familiar with iOS programming, this saves a lot of coding and really kind of quickly um, get your user interface built where then you can focus on the business logic behind the scenes. All right, let's go ahead. And let this guy run and build okay so here we got our simulator up and we have our press our press me for the next screen if I press on that it will click and it will did it did my transition and I apologize if you're watching on uh, on, on uh, go to webinar you probably didn't see the flip and the nice transition that you had there but it, it is there and uh, but there's a lot of other options that we can that we have as well um, Alice should close now no okay we can click on this we can do a page curl page curls pretty cool we could also do a cross dissolve go ahead and run this build succeeded it's launching the simulator now and now when we click for a transition we get a nice page curl up and um, we will 
kind of limited in time on how to make it go back in that, but it's all done with our segue and our segue transitions. We talk about that more in my uh, my Xcode courses and my uh, iPhone and iPad programming courses. And we'll talk more about it as well in uh, these free YouTube videos as well. If you just go to excelme.com, click on in the top right of your screen, click on the free videos. You just go to excelme.com, click on the free videos. You'll see the schedule that we have for the rest of the year and for beginning of next year. And then also, if you'd like to take the courses that have a little bit more formal training and quite a bit more discussion and examples and code on doing these things, just click on the courses there. And um, have any questions, let me know. Again, thanks for attending and look forward to seeing you at the beginning of the year for the rest of our videos and our schedule. And those that are attending live right now, um, I'll go ahead and take your questions after I stop recording. Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a great new year. Good night.